Okay, this is just a, a quick run through of getting your SaberSense installed KR Emperor lightsaber from Padawan Outpost uh, to get it up and running. So, uh, when you receive it, it will look something like this. So, we've got the hilt there fitted with the uh, normal blade emitter. You've also got your screen accurate um, sort of emitter, screen emitter there, and the heat sink, which obviously you won't need. Um, so, uh, now I don't know if you've seen Cal's video about the empty hilts on these, um, but the way this works is this screw basically clamps the whole thing together with this shroud and the inner core um, uh, against the uh, emitter section. So if we just unscrew this, the threads are going to bind um, because the whole thing is so sort of clamped up. So what I found is these three screws on the end, if we just undo those a couple of turns, you don't need to undo them much. All you're doing is kind of taking the tension out of the whole hilt. Um, then you can undo the main screw. Um, if it still binds with those three screws done, undone on the end, um, you can unscrew the, the emitter slightly, which again will take a bit of tension out of it. But that should come out there. Now be careful because the pommel will just fall out and obviously the last thing you want to do is scratch this beautiful plating. So there's our pommel. Um, so yeah, the, the emitter section just unscrews. If that screw, for, that main screw is a bit tight coming out, just crack the tightness of that and that'll loosen it off a bit. So then to get the inner core out, you can just use your fingers through there. Just be careful because you've got the NeoPixel pins in there and just there is our inner chassis. So. A profi board with a little um, little film on top of it just to protect against any shorts or anything inside the hill this is all a bit of a, a bit of a snug fit takes a removable battery removable 18650 now if you look on the batteries you can see this little spine make sure that's not directly upwards or again the tolerances on this hill are so fine that that might bind on the inside of the hill uh, hill case so pop that in negative on the spring one positive pointing towards the emitter There's our battery in place, and then you can flick the switch. I am the Senate. So, main button is red, that will start blinking. Aux button is green, that will stay, stay lit green. So, to get it back in the hilt, now if you look on, if you look on these buttons, these little plungers, there's a little retainer, I don't know if you can see it in this light, there's a little retainer inside the hilt to stop those plungers falling through. But again, the tolerances are quite fine, so it is some, on some of them it's possible for these to just pop through. So they need to be sticking right out like that when you put the chassis in. So it's best to hold the chassis upside down like that. Make sure those plungers are sticking outwards. Then with your LEDs facing downwards, you can slide the chassis in. Now make sure you don't touch any of the pins on the metal hilt. Um, in theory, it should be fine, but it's best not to test it and then that slides all the way in. You'll have to rotate it a bit to align it and then once it's in straight, it'll push right the way in like that. Now you can see our buttons are lit. So to get the pommel back on, also after 15 minutes of uh, the Sabre being inactive, those switch LEDs will shut down um, to save the battery. Uh, so you don't need to keep opening the hilt up. Now I've found in order to get the screws, screw holes aligned, if you hold it like that, use your fingers to push the pommel in, use your thumb to push the shroud back, and that keeps, that gets everything pretty much aligned. And you can get your, your main screw started. And sometimes they can be a bit fiddly to get them to bite to start with, but once they do, they're going quite easily. Don't need to nip it up too tight. And once it's in, you can see that's how it looks, it's properly recessed. If it's not recessed, it's not all the way in. Then nip these up. Oops. Nip up our three other screws. So now the whole thing is completely clamped up. No rock or anything in any of it. And we've got our main button. So to light it, So 
So all the instructions for um, uh, the button operations are all included in the magazine with it or on this video. If you click on that, it'll tell you the uh, button combinations. Other than that, enjoy your KR Emperor lightsaber.